Um, obviously, great to have you all with us. So thank you for uh, showing up. You're all looking awesome. It's great to see you boys out of your out of your gym your gym gear. So um, <laughs> <laughs> it's not always about just training hard. It's not always about eating right. You know what we kind of have here is, is more of a of a, a what we've kind of built is like a team, a family unit. It's not like um you know it, it goes deeper than just lifting weights and, and eating chicken. All right. The thing is, you know, it's it's all about kind of creating these new habits. They're hopefully going to be with you guys for the rest of your lives going to give you more confidence, get your bodies in better shape, get your minds in better shape. So let's, let's just forget the, forget all the ribs and the beer that we're drinking now. Obviously, like, you know, like every now and again, it's all good, right? Don't get, don't, let's not panic. Let's, let's keep it, you know, we all eat right for most of the time. So if you're eating 80% of the time, pretty good. Happy days. So step it up this year, support your teammates, train harder and smarter than you ever have done before. So make sure all it takes is sometimes, you know, if, if someone's having a bad day, if you're having a, you know, a tough time of it, if, if, you, if you, your partners are struggling, your teammates are struggling, a little high five, give them a little word of encouragement, it's easy and problem solved. It's me and Shauna, so proud of you guys, you know, for, for the, the hard work you put in, all the effort you put in, the time you spent, the dedication you spent on, on getting your diets right, doing what we say. If you, you know, if you follow the rules, if you play, you know, play hard, work hard, train hard, um, great things are going to happen, right, guys? So get your glasses up. To make to make it 2016 the most epic year ever, all right? 2016, yeah. epic, all right, guys? When you've got somebody you're training with actually says, you know, well done, Lee, that was great, or whatever, it, it really does even feel it give you a lift, like right? especially when you're halfway down the Astro turf with the uh, sled or something like that. I mean, it can be it can be quite hard, <laughs> and just to hear your name being shouted gives you a bit yeah. of a push, doesn't it? The main thing about the uh, training together is the, is the teamwork, it's driving each other on, it's the, it's the encouragement, you know, just, just making sure everyone gets that, that last rep out or gets the last pull of the sled or the, the prowler. It's, you can't beat the, the encouragement you get from your teammates. I love it when you see something posted after the session and you, you really beasted yourself. Exactly. And then you see like, like, like that video or some photos and like everyone's like, you know, Everyone's really happy with it. Even people just writing, you know, about the session itself, because you get a lot of guys and girls as well, actually, at the end of the sessions, just saying, like, you know, well done to everyone, and just talking about it as well. Once you get that, that, that whole sort of team ethic, you know, it doesn't really matter who you train with. You get the best out of them, and they get the best out of you, don't they, really? Yeah, providing they're putting in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. it doesn't really matter, because there's always a laugh and a joke on the way, or seriousness when needed, yeah. As long as they're yeah. putting the effort in, you see that they're putting the effort in, you want to keep up with them. My biggest achievement is being able to get through a whole week without actually drinking alcohol. You know, that's, uh, it's given me that drive and desire to, uh, to, to do that, yeah. It, was, it wasn't this week. It, well, that's, that's not mine either. <laughs> Your quality of life improves as well, doesn't it? You, know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you think, I'm going to go for a walk or for a run or hop on a bike, and it's, it's not hard work anymore. Yeah. No. Yeah. Commercial gym is it's it's yourself. You've got to do it all yourself. You, you you pay your money. You go in. They might show give you a plan once yeah. in a while, and then you have to go back every yeah. so often to refresh it. But this style of gym, you're in it, you're on it, and you push to the max every time. You don't really have a choice, do you? To be honest, oh, I'd so. say <laughs> push to the max yeah. every time. I think the difference is it, it, because you're not worrying about the structure of the training and this that and the other. Yeah, it's it gives you the less stress of going, all right, I need to go and do this. I work on my chest, I need to go and work on my legs, yeah. my back needs doing. You don't have to focus on it, but it's all done for you. Yeah. You come in and you're like, right, what are we doing? Right, okay. Yeah, and then you, you, you just go for it. You, you start, you get your warm up, you start working out, and then you get your little finisher at the end, which is yeah. a killer. There's always a new goal, no matter what, yeah. what you do. You'll hit one goal and then you'll want then something you else. We wouldn't be hitting those targets if they weren't pushing us to that target yeah. and then letting us, and then it gives us that chance to improve the targets yeah. and go for more. When I first got there, I, couldn't even, I didn't know how to do a burpee properly. So I, I, was, I, was, I think I was thrown in a press-up and uh, Laura was like, what are you doing? <laughs> you don't need to do that. So uh, actually, I quite enjoy them now. You know, I know that I don't have to do that. I trained at other gyms for years and, and, and one where Sean and, and Z used to work at and always been in like good shape, like you know, reasonably good shape, quite low body fat, quite strong, quite muscle, quite fit. But I joined there at um, just turned 37 and I've just turned 39 in the last two years. In fact in a year I got in the best shape of my life. 
and I wished I'd known about it and done it sooner. Um, some of the guys I used to train with you know Sean and Zinni kept saying to me, come down, come down, really suit you, the sort of stuff you do. But I guess you're still just in your comfort zone, not necessarily a comfort zone, but I'm, I'm, I think I'm quite, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But I reach the plateau as I do at gyms like that every now and again and then you just need somewhere new, somewhere, total different environment. And for me, training-wise, the best thing I ever did. And I wish it had been around or I'd done it, you know, sooner.